Hi, I'm Karen from SciFiVision.com. Thanks so much for talking to us today. Sure. Thank you for having me. Uh, I love this show, and I love where Fatima has been going. You know, in season one, your character, um, she seemed to have like found her way to live in this place. Uh, she had her routine. She had her groove. She was a leader at the colony, and she even was helping new people adjust. And in season two, it feels like that status quo has all gone to hell. Um, and for and the hits just keep coming for your character, right? Like it seems like every uh, that that illusion of of a of a routine has been shattered. Um, episode six, which just aired last week, is the big one where you know we learn that she is pregnant and Ellis has been injured, and I think it's the most truly terrifying episode for her. Can you speak a little bit about you know where she is mentally and emotionally coming into seven this weekend? And does she have what it takes to make it? Like, is there, a, having a baby's terrifying without monsters, right? Where is she right now? She's still trying to come to terms with the fact that uh, she is in fact with a child. Uh, I think in the back of her mind, there's still a shoe to drop, uh, whether that is the town going, JK, you're actually not pregnant, but I'm so glad you got your hopes up. Or it's that she is pregnant and it's a gift from the town. Um, she has a lot of fear and uncertainty and, um, yeah, fear and uncertainty in, in, on her mind, especially since, you know, Ellis was almost taken away from her and that brought a lot of things into perspective of, you know, if, if Ellis isn't here, do I have a support system that could help me raise a child? Do I need one? Um, will I be okay raising a child on my own? I, you know, I'm sure she spent a lot of time coming to terms with the fact that she would never have to uh, raise a child that she birthed herself. But even raising the child aside, giving the birth, she's not ready for, especially if truly her body isn't capable of bearing a child and she is now pregnant. I can only imagine the horrors that she's thinking you know, I think it's as early as maybe episode three, where we saw her, you know, say, I don't think I can take this anymore, Ellis. It's like before he proposes, I think. And she says, I don't even think I can take this town anymore. She's starting to lose it a little bit. Um, how much is that that first horrifying night with the bus passengers um, a factor in all of this? I think where she ends up in episode three saying that no anymore and none of that really matters anymore um starts in season one episode seven where you know she tries to hold on to people it's not the first time she's lost friends in this place she mentions a few people in season one um that are not there anymore but not knowing where um julie is and not knowing for at least a little bit where ellis is um it really messed with her mind that night in, in the vestibule in the colony house but in season two she fatima has this sense of responsibility to help and i think a lot of that comes with not being able to help when her dad was being taken away from her she just had to stand there and watch um and so now I think every time something happens, she's thinking, this time I'm going to help. And every time something holds her back, whether it's the fact that she'll die if she go outside, or if she goes outside, or it's somebody else holding her back. Um, it, she knows that none of it really matters anymore. And that every time she tries, it doesn't help. People are still going to die. She's still going to lose people. She's tired and a little scared to love you know, to, to, to take people in and that can't be easy for her, especially since she loves to help people. And she's one of the people that she, she proxy, she's a proxy to the, the town's people that come in, um, knowing that she has to be a little more guarded now. I'm, I'm sure it breaks her heart a little bit and losing hope is not easy for anybody, especially in this town. Yeah. So we have one minute left. Uh, uh, if you, in real life, were trapped in the town, uh, Team Colony or Team Diner, would you live up on the hill or in the town? 
if it's the calling house and the diner, I think I'd pick the diner, not necessarily the town, but if it's not just the diner, I would pick calling house. Don is there. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. That's all the time we have. Uh, we'll get this right up. Our viewers can't wait to see what happens next in the town. Thank Thanks you. so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.